Y'all, spring is almost here. I'm pumped. I'm on fire. Who's ready? <laughs> Okay guys, before we continue on with the video, I had to make like a quick trip to Dollar Tree. As you can see, I have a terrible angle. I didn't park in a really good spot, but anyway. Yeah, so we are at Dollar Tree and just get a few things for our house that we need for spring and Easter. And I know I already have a few things at home, but I don't feel like it was enough to give like the house a spring vibe. So I'm just gonna go to Dollar Tree, see what they got. And yeah, guys, I, I love Dollar Tree. Like, <laughs> I know a lot of people, they go like to Target or they go to like Hobby Lobby or Michaels to get their stuff. But like, y'all don't be hating on Dollar Tree. Like Dollar Tree got some good things up in there. I ain't gonna lie. Guys, this is my first time like filming myself shopping Dollar Tree. And I'm just like, I'm not much of a fan of doing that. Cause like, I worry about what people think. And I know you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't worry about people think and just do what you love to do. But sometimes I just can't help it. Like. But people just look at me, film me, and I'm like, why, why, what is she doing? Why she got that camera? Like, I'm pretty sure they don't care. They may look for like a second, but it's probably just me overthinking it. Guys, I am excited. I am ready to do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay hey guys, so I am back from Dollar Tree. My grand total for Dollar Tree and everything I got, the other bags on the floor, but the grand total was around $37, which wasn't too bad because I got like a pretty good amount of stuff. So hopefully that was enough. And guys, I meant to get this blanket I saw at Dollar Tree and I forgot to get it. So honestly, I might make another trip to the store. I don't know, but yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so for today's decorating video, we're gonna start off with my kitchen. Usually I do the living room first, but today I said, you know, I'm gonna do the kitchen first. So I'm gonna start off with cleaning because guys, my kitchen is not clean. <laughs> Starting off with the table first, we are going to be using these Dollar Tree tablecloths to tie into cute little bows that will be displayed on the sides of the table. And right here I'm showing you how I folded each table cover as I wanted to look like a nice cute little Easter bow. And I wanted to use this green color as Easter to me is just very bright and pastel colors in here. We are going to stuff these nice cute bows with flowers because I feel like it just needed a little more. Oh my gosh, y'all, really quick. As I'm making as I was editing this video, I forgot to show y'all what I got from Dollar Tree. So my bad. But anyway, we are decorating the centerpiece for our table. And this garland right here I got from Dollar Tree and it was five dollars. So I'm letting you know that. The basket I already had in my house and this cross was also from my house. My as we do live in a Christian household and this was used from last year's Easter celebration and right here we have this teapot I mean a teapot <laughs> so, I mean this water pitcher y'all know what I mean but anyway yeah we're gonna put that in here Now with this garland right here, I wasn't really sure what the, I was going to do with it. So I decided to use it as a last minute thing of just putting it in the glass bowl with the candle. Because I just thought it would be a nice touch with it. And I know I'm doing spring decor, but I just want to give a little bit of Easter touch to it as well. I'm trying to find like a perfect balance between Easter and spring. And also I don't want to be like too Eastery because after like Easter's over and spring's still around, I still want the house to look a bit springy. I hope what I said made sense. 
business but <laughs> you know what i mean but now y'all this towel and these oven mitts i'm about to show you in a minute all i got from dollar tree y'all dollar tree i told y'all got some really good finds y'all need to head over to dollar tree this easter season and spring season now right here i'm swapping out these silverware right here for the pink ones i don't know y'all could tell they're pink but yeah now the final touch of the kitchen is are these gorgeous african violets now moving on to the living room we are using these flowers and this and this christmas candle right here and i know you're probably wondering why in the world am i using a christmas candle for spring decor but trust me it will make sense in a second as you can see right here i just feel like the back of it and the color of it gives it a nice springy easter look carrots right here from this garland i got from dollar tree i is going to be used as the final touch for our little table display right here as we all know the bunny needs their carrots so i'm gonna put this right over here and yeah and i think it looks pretty good so far Okay guys, we're going to take a little detour from the living room and go into our foyer where we are going to decorate this little table for spring. And I'm using these little daisies and these white flowers I don't know the name of. <laughs> and we are going to put it in a basket just like if we went out to an open field and just did some flower picking. Now this right here was an afterthought of, it was a bit spontaneous, but I wanted to add a little bit more Easter to the house. I feel like it needed some, especially Easter not being here yet. So I decided to just put some Easter eggs around our artificial plant here. I just thought that would look so cute and just get people's attention with the bright colors of the eggs. And this is how it came out and I'm so proud of it guys. And now here, uh, honestly, I don't know why I'm getting so excited about this, but yeah, we're just putting peeps I found from Dollar Tree on our TV, guys. And these are supposed to be lights. And yes, I am using tape. I'm sorry, but I did not have command hooks. But I use these flowers right here to hopefully cover the tape up with. Um, I hopefully I did a good job. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. So now we are decorating our desk and yes, we do have a desk in the middle of our living room right here. But of course, I have to give this desk some spring vibes. And right here, I had a hard time honestly trying to figure out which flower to put with these books. So y'all let me know in the comments which ones look better out of these three choices because right here I just had a hard time like deciding. But eventually I stuck with these flowers right here. But y'all let me know below which one should I change it out or should I just redo it? Okay y'all, real quick, my cat wanted me to remind y'all to like and subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this. Now guys, for the last part of this video, we are gonna be cleaning and decorating my bathroom just like we did for Valentine's guys. And just like Valentine's, it needs cleaning. So we're gonna clean this really quick and then we're gonna dive right into my favorite part, which is decorating. Now guys, to give these towels a more springy look, I know I got the pastel like light colors, but I thought why not add some flowers to it? I guess like make the towels stand out more, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about this idea.
Y'all, I guys gotta jump in here and say, I just love the way the sun is just shining into this bathroom. It's just making everything just look bright and springy. I mean, I feel like God was just helping me out decorate. <laughs> it just turned out great. I just love the way everything is looking. But obviously, I wanna know your guys' opinion in the comments because I just feel like everything came out really beautiful. It just gave me the spring, eastery, bright vibe. It just made me feel excited for the days to come. But guys, let me know what you think. What are some things that I could have done differently? What are some things that I should consider adding? Because guys, I love hearing from you and I wanna hear from you because everybody's opinions matter and I invite constructive criticism. Anyway guys, if, don't forget to subscribe if you like videos like this. And until next time, bye.